Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. In the last video, we have seen how we can use composition in Go language and how we can replace the requirement of inheritance with composition. In one more previous video, we have seen how we can use structure as a class. In this video, I am going to explain you how you can implement a concept of polymorphism in Go language. For that, I have this main function here and in this main function, I declare first of all the interface. So, I say calculation and here I say interface. And it is generating a warning so what I do I say go mode in it and I give it name poly so package is created module is created so no it, it would not generate error now and I can say go mode tidy also for any requirement so now I have an interface in this interface I have two function I say uh, calculate and that function will return int value then one more function we have that is we say display a result and that's all save it now I have a structure I say it is sum of struct and here I say num1 as a int, num2 as a int. Similarly, I just copy and paste and I say multiply. It is a very easy example to understand the polymorphism in Go language. So, structure is created. Now, I have to uh, implement the function so I say function so first function for sum so I say uh, that is calculate and it will return int so I say return that s dot num1 plus s dot num2 like this Similarly, I just copy and paste and in place of sum, I say multiply and here I just return multiplication of these two numbers. Similarly, I create one more function and the function name would be display result. like this and this function would not return any value and that's why here i say fmt dot print ln print f and i say that sum equal to percentage s and i say s dot calculate like this save it similarly I copy this and paste and here in place of sum I say multiply. You see and here I say multiplication. Multiply equal to this. So remember that we have the calculate then calculate we have a display result then display result. So, I am doing that function overloading type of concept and this is the same interface I am using in two, two structures. Now, I am going into the main here and I am going to pass the value I say uh, structure uh, and I give it to uh, the num and I say uh, the sum uh, the value of sum is uh, this value I am passing here 
so I can say as also it is a sum then I can take multiply and I say multiply multiply and here I can pass some other value for multiplication save it now I create uh, array of that uh, uh, interface so I say cc equal to and I create slice of calculation and here I pass s and m so here I am passing this now I have a two value here and uh, with the help of range uh, what I do c equal to range c then equal to range cc like this and I say c dot display result like this remember that I pass s also, s, s also and m also this object and this object in a, a slice of calculation interface and then one by one with the help of range I am just doing this so I say cls and go run main dot go if I run uh, that is the composition I have to change directory so I go to poly cd poly like this cls go run main so we have uh, some problem so problem is I'm using pointer so I just remove this pointer here otherwise I have to pass address of this structure concept is same so now once again I try to execute undefined as calculate so I say calculate calculate C A L so calculate here also calculate and for multiply I say M and here for multiply I say M and uh, for multiply I change the object name to M I can keep it say S also but just for understanding purpose save it calculate now I try to run it once again you see uh, it is coming but one problem is coming problem is uh, print f percentage s percentage s sorry we have to give percentage d because it's an integer not string save run once again and you see cls and i can say slash n also for line break and I try to execute it once again you see the sum equal to this and multiplication equal to this so we have the structure also we have the interface also we just override these functions calculate and result for some structure also for multiplication structure also and with the help of slices of the interface we achieve the polymorphism concept by using structure in co-language. I think now you have understand that we can also use structure as a class. We can use composition for replacement of inheritance and we can also implement polymorphism concept in Go language as we do in other object oriented programming language also. So I think I have explained it very clearly and you understand it also. You have learned so many things from this video. If you really learn anything from this video, please like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching this video.